Hello friends, welcome to a new lecture today on carcinoma of breast. In our last class, we have learned about all the benign lesions of the breast. Now I would like to explain about carcinoma of breast or breast cancer. So, there are many etiological factors in the carcinoma of breast. One, the main most common etiological factor in the age. Age, it is most common after the age of 90 years or most, if you say, it's not uh, after the age of 90 years, sorry. It is le less common um, in younger age group, that is less than 20 years. It can occur in older age or in adult age group. So, obviously, the breast cancer, it is more common in females when compared to males. And there are genetic mutations which are seen BRCA1 and BRCA2. So, uh, let me just show you some uh, syndromes which I have, which I have made list in my book so that it becomes easier for you instead of writing me writing it again. So, etiology in the carcinoma of breast, etiologically it can occur at the age, for, for age, in the age group less than 20 years, it is rare. And slowly as the age increases, the breast cancer etiology, breast cancer incidence also increases. And by 90 years, 20% 20 of people suffer from breast cancer. Now, gender. As I have said, it is more common in females when compared to males. Then, genetics. These are the genes which are associated with breast cancer. So, if you see, whenever there is mutation of tumor suppressor genes, like BRCA1 mutation or BRCA2 mutation. BRCA1 mutation occurs on the long arm of chromosome 17 and BRCA2 mutation, it can occur on the long arm of chromosome 13 or BRCA3 or if there is mutation in P53 gene. All these mutations can cause breast cancer. And then there is also a syndrome which is called as leaf from any syndrome which is autosomal dominant syndrome and this leaf from any syndrome this causes breast cancer so in leaf from any syndrome along with breast cancer there is a chance of sarcoma leukemia brain tumors and adrenocortical tumors are also seen in this leaf from any syndrome then the diet even some of the diet is uh, also the risk factor for breast cancer. So the diet like low in phytoestrogen and high alcohol content, consumption of high alcohol and also the diet which has less phyto and, and phytoestrogens. So thus that will cause higher risk of breast cancer. Then there are some endocrine problems. Most commonly it, this breast cancer occurs in nulliparous women. See the breast cancer most commonly occurs um, if there is higher estrogen exposure, whenever there is increased estrogen exposure to the breast tissue, then there is uh, a chance of uh, increased uh, breast cancer. So there are, in some nulliparous women, there is increased chance of breast cancer. Why? Because normally, whenever in pregnancy, normally, there is, um, during pregnancy, there is... Uh, decreased estrogen and there is increased progesterone. Progesterone is secreted more when compared to estrogen. This is because the progesterone is protective to the baby. Right? It, is, it maintains pregnancy. As a result, progesterone is secreted more when compared to estrogen. As a result, exposure to estrogen is le less in during pregnancy. So in nulliparous women, that is, uh, she, uh, she did not carry baby even once. Right? She, did, she has... Uh, uh, not become pregnant so that nine months of having less estrogen content that is not there so as a result there is increased chances in nulliparous women and then the protective factors breastfeeding protects why in breastfeeding the estrogen is less right why because there is increased progesterone pro pro prolactin because of increased prolactin the estrogen prolactin will inhibit estrogen and thus causes amenorrhea for nearly six months this also acts for contraceptive use it is a natural method of contraception so even in breastfeeding the estrogen levels are less during that period so as a result breastfeeding is one of the protective factor for breast cancer and even if the mother has first child at the age at an early age uh, first child at an early age that is also a protective factor and if there is late menarche and early menopause what does it what does it suggest if there is late menarche and early menopause then there is less um, 
period for exposure of estrogen because menarche is late and menopause is early so the period of estrogen exposure is less as a result that is protective against breast cancer whereas early menarche and late menopause early menarche and late menopause that will increase the uh, duration of exposure to estrogen and thus that is one of the risk factor for breast cancer then in post menopausal women the breast cancer is more common in obese women why because in obese women um, steroid hormones which are present in the body all those steroid hormones will be converted to estrogen so there is increased estrogen in the body so because of increased estrogen there is increased risk and even contraceptive pills and hormone replacement therapy in hormone replacement therapy and contraceptive pills also there is estrogen content so whenever there is estrogen content there is increased exposure to the estrogen in our body so this will increase the risk next whenever there is previous radiation there is increased risk and some benign diseases like atypia hyperplasia epitheliosis all these will increase the risk and there is one more syndrome which is called as cowden syndrome so in this cowden syndrome it is an autosomal dominant condition and this cowden syndrome has cutaneous facial lesions bilateral breast lesion and gastrointestinal polyp and brain and also thyroid tumors so this cowden syndrome also predisposes to breast cancer so these are the many etiological features which are seen in carcinoma of breast i think you guys have understood about the etiological features of breast cancer so thank you guys for watching my lecture in my next class i'll explain about the spread of the breast cancer and its clinical features uh, diagnosis and treatment so thank you for watching my lecture thank you